Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can implement this press back again to exit functionality, which only closes your app if you press back two times within a certain time frame. Okay, let's implement this. First we are going to need a long variable, which we call private long back pressed time. In this back press time variable, we are going to save the time in milliseconds of the click. Now we overwrite on back pressed. We press Ctrl O, search for on back pressed and press enter. Okay, at the end of our on back pressed method, we are going to set back pressed time to system.current time in millis. So our back press time will be set to the current time in milliseconds. But before this, we are going to create an if else statement. So we say if back press time plus 2000, which equals two seconds, is bigger than system current time in millis. So this is comparing the time of the first click to the time of our second click. So if our second click is within these two seconds after the first click, the if part is going to happen. And in this if part, we are going to put this super on back pressed. We cut it out here and put it here. And also we are going to write return. So we leave this method after the if part is happening. In the else statement, we are going to create this toast message. So we say toast.make text. As the context, we pass get paste context. We give it a string, which we say press back again to exit. And also we give it the length with Toast dot length short. And also we have to call show on this toast. Now let's test it. If I wait longer than two seconds, it's not leaving. And if I click two times within these two seconds, it's leaving the app. But if you may have noticed, the toast didn't disappear with the app itself. It lasted a bit longer. So let's change this. Let's put our toast into a toast variable with private toast, back toast. We delete the show part down here and say, okay, back toast equals toast.make text. And in the next line, we call show on our back toast. And here in our if part, we are going to call back toast.cancel before closing the app. So if we close the app, the toast is going to get cancelled immediately. Let's test it. And as you can see, the toast disappears immediately. Let's test it again. It disappears. Okay, I hope this was helpful and take care.